This is the high school game of the week. Now, back to the action with Bob Michaels. Well, whatever the write-up was that you saw, they were talking about the Corning Hawks being young. They look pretty mature out there right now, Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, absolutely. We have two very young teams here, and so far the Hawks look like they're being well coached and ready to go here tonight in their home opener. Uh, it's still some daylight, but the uh, lights are on here. Rarens is ready. He's the extra point guy. He's the kickoff specialist, and here's the boot as we continue with this ball game. It'll be retrieved uh, just outside the 20-yard line by Ladarius Thompson, and he did not find the navigation to his liking as he tried to run up the middle, um, basically just trying to get his bearings, and will be stopped just across, just across the 25-yard line. Yeah, it looks like the 27-yard line again. So for the second possession in the row, their second possession of the game, they will start at their own. 27, they need to get something going and respond. Dave Robinson in his first year, he's been with the program. In fact, uh, there's somewhat of a uh, five-year hiatus. I don't know if there's any coincidence that uh, Rand Seacrest was out of the booth for maybe a little bit of time. And Coach Robinson, four years, was it, Rance? Five, three years, okay. Well, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Yeah. All right, we've got a whistle. And a timeout called by Coach Robinson, as I indicated, uh, Coach Robinson coming back after about a, a five-year hiatus. He had worked last with uh, Fred Deinhardt, and Fred pursuing a, a master's in administration, almost like, uh, I guess, following in the footsteps of his legendary uh, coach father, Steve Deinhardt, who for so many years was the, uh, the head coach of the Binghamton Patriots. And you talk about a fellow who had just an outstanding grip when it came to coaching and all those wonderful schemes. And, you know, for a while, it's one of those cases of father coming back to work for the son, which he did a little bit, uh, helping Freddie out with the Johnson City schemes. But uh, we wish uh, Fred Deinhardt the best of luck and continued success in, in uh, his teaching profession and now into administration. As you say, Bob, I was out of this for a few years, and you just can't stay away from this game. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention my old colleague when I coached uh, at EFA, George Batroni, now on the Corning Hawk staff. Yeah, a member of the defense, and uh, good to see George back. Just a great guy and a great football mind, too. All right, here we go. McCurcher waiting, and he's going to hand it to his tailbait, uh, tailback, <laughs> Ladarius Thompson. Might well consider him being bait out there because he goes nowhere as he hits the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you got that right. He's gone nowhere. He's had three carries now for minus one yards. Of course, the last one on the last drive before the punt was the one where they put the ball into the air. He ended up catching it out of the air. Fortunate for them, but they absolutely need to get something going. Working alongside uh, a new mate in our booth this year from Big Fox TV, Greg Speroni. Not too many baseball runners would run on that guy when he was behind the plate. All right, here's McCurcher rolling out to his right. He looks, he's going to continue, and he throws a short zinger to the sideline, but was it a completed pass? It appears that it was. On the receiving end was Logan Ellsworth. And the ball completed to near the 34-yard line. It brings up a third down. It's going to be third and long. Third and about four. Yeah, tough four, third down position here, but a nice six-yard gain there on the pass play. All right, Harris coming wide near side. We have man in motion. And the sweep, and look out. And nowhere to go for Noah Meany. So once again, the defense comes up big on third down. And obviously, we'll be looking at another punting situation for Johnson City. Nothing there. Great penetration by the Hawks defense. I believe that was uh, Jermaine Stroman that made the stop. They were packed in there very quickly. Here we go. Going to be a punting time once more. 
And a booming kick this time from McKercher. Fielded to the 40 by the Hawks. That's Muhammad. He's to the 40. Down inside and run out of bounds. Close to the 30-yard line of Johnson City. Yes, sir, Muhammad. Well, so far, the Hawks have absolutely dominated here in the first quarter. JC now with two possessions, both three and outs, resulting in punts, and the Hawks are in their best field position of the game at the 32-yard line of the Wildcats. Well, a 14-0 lead currently for the Corning Hawks. Their quarterback, their junior uh, flamethrower, Keen Collins, responsible for both scores, one of 22 yards, a little shorter version, most recently, of one yard. We have a little over a minute remaining in the first quarter, a minute 17, and here comes Collins and the Hawks on offense once more. Corning setting up now just outside the 30-yard line. Mas uh, Muhammad in motion, and they're going to give the ball to Jamison, and he's like a pinball bouncing off two and three different would-be tacklers as he makes his way inside the 30-yard line. So nice five-yard gain there by Jameson on the little fullback give, first phase of the option. So the Hawks got it going on now. We've seen all triple options so far for them here in the first quarter. Haven't yet broke out their double wing offense, but they said they would, and here it comes. They're in the double wing. Collins, little staccato count. Pitch it back to Rodriguez. Jason, the lanky junior, just across the 20, that's a first down for the Corning Hawks. Jason Rodriguez, 6'2", 175 pound running back. So nine yards on that play, just the power play out of the double wing for those who know it well, watching Elmira run it or even Corning. That's the 88 superpower right off tackle to the right side and great gain there and another Hawks first down. They have eight so far in this first quarter. All right, Mike Rossi will deploy in the hitherland, wide to the left side. Muhammad goes in motion. The handoff is to Jamison. Through the dive hole left side, and Jamison down close to the 25-yard line. That'll do it. We have reached the end of the first quarter, and right now the Hawks are looking pretty. 14-0 lead after the first session. Ransom Al return. You're listening to high school football on RLM Sports. 